Well, we found definitely more fires burning recently. In 2014, you've got to remember the Carlton Complex of Fires in Chelan County. The next year, the largest fire in state history, the Okanagan Complex, 300,000 plus acres. We wanted to dig into the data of every wildfire that's burned in our state since 2005 over the past decade. And what we found, some of the trends are pretty alarming. The images are always staggering. And in the western U.S., there is no question wildfires are happening more frequently. For the sake of this report, let's just look at Washington State. Known for its beautiful scenery, its apples, and its beaches. But in the summer months, it's no stranger to smoke and wildfires. Since 2005, there have been 386 larger fires that required some sort of coordinated response to put them out. And we found an obvious trend over time. More of them. We also found they're burning longer. We analyzed data on every major wildfire since 2005 and found while the average burn time for a single wildfire used to be five or six days, they now last longer on average. In 2017, the average burn time was 51 days, the longest. We also found they are sparking earlier in the season. Wildfires now are much more common in July. But here's the scary part. Scientists are more concerned about how many smaller fires become larger, more destructive fires forming megafires or fires that consume more than 100,000 acres. In other words, they're growing much more quickly. Here's an example. The largest fire in Washington history used to be the Yakult Fire of 1902 in southwest Washington. It was a record that was held for 112 years until 2014 with the Carlton Complex east of Chelan. That same record broken the very next year in the Okanagan Complex nearby. It's still the largest in state history. Washington State has seen nine megafires since the year 2000. The entire 20th century had only five. The reason is kind of a catch-22. Firefighting has been so successful protecting forest land in the 20th century, we're now left with areas full of dry brush and timber in the 21st century, meaning there's much more out there to burn. I spoke with the state operations wildfire chief with the state DNR who tells me the next thing we can do is just mitigate the environment. So if there's a lot of brush on someone's property, burning some of that area uh, safely with the help of the state, clearing it out, trying to prevent fires from starting is basically all we can do now. Mm -hmm. Climate change has just caused such a problem when it comes to drying out all those fuels. It's crazy. So it's going to get worse and worse. Mm -hmm. as it appears for the years. We'll hear from him on calling to next. Okay. okay. Thank you, Jay.